welcome back to Artie and the Octopi. I'm Artie and I have Octopi and today we're going to be painting blobs part two. Um, I've got all my tiny little mini canvases and my pans are going all weird and I painted them in rainbow but also not rainbow but like just there's a range of colours. There's a rainbow in there somewhere. Um, they're quite vibrant. I really like these colours. Um, also, I do apologise, but I am missing a lot of footage. I don't know where it's gone. I, It's not... I can't find it. It's not on my camera. Nothing. So there are a couple... A, a good few clips missing some missing in places. But I'm going to show all of, th all of the finished paintings, mini paintings, at the end so you can get a good look at them. Um, I... I'm now starting doing the sketches and the kind of base colours um, on the paintings. You can see my rough, rough, I sound like a dog, my rough, rough sketches um, on the post-it note. And I use the post-it notes because they're the exact same size as the blobs, uh, as the canvases, 7 by 7 centimetres, or thereabouts. And I use them because I like getting just a rough idea and it doesn't have to be permanent and I don't have to paint over it and whatnot. Um, so we did a few just now and now I'm going on the strawberry one. I know, I know, strawberries are red, but it, it's, it's cute, okay? It's, it's okay. Oh, and then this is little dots going on it, strawberry seeds. It's very zoomed in, it's not very good quality. I do apologise. And do you remember that trend that was going around? Like, there will come a poet, weapon is his word. The soldier poet king, there we go. Um, I did three, I think, blobs from that. No, I did two. I did the poet and the soldier, not the king, because I did the king last time. Um... But yeah, they look really cute together and their aesthetic is just oh, amazing. And then there's a cow and then there's a strawberry. So they're two different ones. They're absolutely adorable. I think they might be my favourites. And then four of them are the Hogwarts houses from Harry Potter. So Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. Side note, I do not support JK Rowling. None of them, No money goes to her. Thank you. Anyway, I've started just outlining the Gryffindor blob and giving him his little bow tie and honestly, I think the the colour is amazing. It's not a proper gold, I don't think, but it's like, it looks like lion fur. Um, and then I added a little bit, it's not technically, it's not in the books, it's not in any of it, it's just little um armbands or well, something sweatbands there it is um made out of well i painted them so that they look like they're made out of lion fur and i always imagine them as like um you know the nemean lion cape from greek mythology the ma they're made out of the same material so his wrists are invulnerable it's really helpful it's really not it's really not um and now i'm going to paint the slytherin blob some of these colours aren't like to totally accurate but I didn't want to have to spend like half an hour mixing paint for little to no reason so we're going to deal with slightly inaccurate colours okay I'm sorry and then I'm outlining the Slytherin blob he's got a little snake climbing up his arm he's very done with everyone else he's just like are you guys kidding me right now because that's kind of his vibes um and then, I don't know if you can tell, but this is the Hufflepuff blob. She's very happy. She's very smiley. She's got a little bow on. And my yellow paint is, like, about as opaque as a sheet of glass. So, <laughs> I had to do a white layer, or I would have been stuck doing 25 different coats over dark purple with practically see-through yellow so I did a white base coat added the yellow did a 
about four, maybe five coats of that. And I just gave up after that, essentially. And just got on with it, because I did not want to have to do another 25 coats. That is just not something that I wanted to spend a few hours on. And now, this is going by really quickly. I think I must have missed way more footage than I thought. I do apologise. I'm now gessoing everything. Um, and I always gesso my paintings because I would not like paint flaking off all over my floor. That would not be good. Um, I don't know if that would happen, but these canvases are also very cheap and not very good quality. So I honestly don't know what, what's going to happen if I don't seal them in, but I always seal them in just in case. And here's the finished product. And I do, I really apologise that I wasn't able to salvage a lot of this footage. But here are all of them. Slytherin Blob. He's got purple eyes. Ravenclaw Blob. Soldier Blob. Gryffindor Blob. You see, he's got those little armbands. Poet Blob. You can't really see it, but he's holding a book of poetry. Hufflepuff Blob. Cow Blob. He makes chocolate milk. Um, and Strawberry Blob. There was... There's some quite chunky bits um, on some of them because I had to go over them a lot of times just to get kind of the base coat done. And Slytherin, you're looking a bit topsy-turvy over there, my dude. <laughs> um, anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video, even though there were a couple of clips missing. And I hope to see, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!